श्री सत्यसाई लोक सेवा गुरुकुलम ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लेट्स लर्न इंग्लिश सीरीज विद मिसेस कल्पना हेबडेकर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न मोर ऑन वर्ब्स फॉर्म ओके सो देयर आर फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ वर्ब फॉर्म्स एज वी हैव डन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास इन द चार्ट राइट ओके सो ऑल ऑफ यू रिमेंबर अदरवाइज गो एंड जस्ट रिफर इट अगेन ओके फर्स्ट वन सिंपल प्रेजेंट और बेज वर्ब ओके the second one is simple past third one past participle present participle is the fourth one and the fifth one is simple present third person singular okay now we will see again the five types of verb forms are first one simple present or the base verb second simple past third past participle the fourth one present participle fifth one simple present third person singular okay now we have not studied in deep now this class we are going to study in a deeper way what each one says okay now see let us see simple present tense or the base or the root form of the verb these are the base form of verbs simple present tense is used to express habits general truths repeated actions or unchanging situations emotions and wishes okay example permit arrive enter advise etc okay so simple present tense or the base or the root form of the verb okay these are the base form of the verbs simple present tense is used to express habits general truths repeated actions or changing situations emotions and wishes example permit arrive enter advise etc okay now let us see the second type Sim simple past tense most verbs can be turned into their simple past tense form by adding d ed to the end of the base verb okay it is used to indicate the past tense in sentences the simple past tense sometimes called as preterite is used to talk about a completed action in a time before now example permitted see the spelling p e r m i t is the base form of the verb you have to add t again so p e r m i t t e d okay is permitted arrived arrived okay enter entered advise advised okay let's learn what is past participle okay most verbs can be turned into their past participle form by adding d or ed to the end of the base verb it is identical to simple past form for most verbs and it is used in perfect tense okay past participle tense is used to make it clear that one event happened before another in the past okay example permit permitted arrive arrived enter entered advise advised okay present participle just add ing to the end of the base form of the verb okay present participle is used during the continuous tenses gerunds and adjectives example go plus ing is going run plus ing is running so here we are adding double n okay eat plus ing is eating ask plus ing is asking now if you have a doubt why we have added two n over here you have to refer to our previous classes where all the rules are given okay now we will go to simple present tense third person singular okay it is used when the subject is third person singular just add s e s i e s to the end of the base form of the verb okay example go 
will become goes g o e s eat plus s is eats okay fry f r y fry this is completely different you just see f r y fry plus i e s is equal to fries now why we have done it earlier in our earlier classes you have to go back and watch it okay so you will get the proper understanding of why y is uh, taken out and i e s is put so thought for the day for loud reading and handwriting practice so let us see what is there for us yes if you sincerely desire to progress on the spiritual path and wish to serve more and more people in many more ways god will certainly open new doors of opportunities for you this is said by sadguru shri madhusudan sai okay so let me read again if you sincerely desire to progress on the spiritual path and wish to serve more and more people in many more ways god will certainly open new doors of opportunities for you this is said by sadguru shri madhusudan sai so thank you for watching shri satya sai lok seva gurukulam online classes let's learn english series i pray god to keep you happy and prosperous in all your future endeavors thank you sai ram